Hello everybody, I am Tycho Selchu and this is an ENSL NSL match uh, season one European Division 5 Group B. We are we have Actioneers versus Han Boulay's team. Han Boulay's team is the aliens, Actioneers are the frontiersmen, and right on, let's get into the action. Let's see the split. We have three Marines to the right and two Marines to the left. Looks like one actually gonna go back to Subaxis Marine Base to protect it from any possible skulk rush. We have skulk spreading out all over the map trying to find where the Marines are. Shouldn't be too long till they know. They've checked Atrium now, they're about to check Data Core, and so they'll know the Marines are in Subaxis, and we have flight control for the aliens, so close spawns for these two teams, armor going up first, and uh, let's see what the aliens decide to do right off the bat. Uh, Taglu down in the marine spawn, but uh, we also have fighting over here, looks like Clam got parasited then taken down, so the aliens establishing a pretty quick hold over the map, although we do have this marine going through to crossroads, and we do have a crag hive chosen first by the aliens, so probably going to see either carapace or regeneration. Why am I saying probably? Definitely going to see carapace or regeneration, that's the only re reason to get the crag hive. And um, marines having trouble establishing harvesters, they've got one up so far, but mostly they've been skirmishing with these skulks. Nice kills from Chaser right behind, killing some two people over here, and... Uh, they're just probably trying to secure this RT right now. Well, that line's not supposed to be yellow. That's supposed to be a purple line. Oh, well, I'll fix that later. And um, so, yes, this is an ENSL, European Natural Selection League game. Uh, these two teams, these guys are Belgian, or Denmark, Denmarkian actioneers. And then Han is, I think, mostly French. And interesting fight here. Skulk's cleaning up. Oh, really low health. Nelbri, are you going to take down the last one? No, Magic Troll retreating. Nelbri running back. Commander maybe going to drop him some health? Nope. Although, looks like he did pick up one health thing. And we have weapons one started from the uh, Marines right off the bat, so that'll probably counteract any carapace that we get from the aliens. Taglu hiding out in this vent. Looks like he's got regen, though, so um, that's what we, th they went for. <laughs> oh, right behind uh, ambushed out of the vents, a nice job there. Marines should maybe stick together a little bit more. They seem to do pretty well against these aliens when they're in a group, but uh, the aliens not having much trouble picking up lone marines. Uh, nice play so far from both players. Marines still just trying to get this RT up. They should maybe think about giving it up. I'm not sure if they know that the hive is here, but they can probably guess uh, given the pressure that they've been taking. Meanwhile, uh, captured all the way on the right-hand side of the map, they've got these three um, resource towers. So that gives them four in total. Where's their fourth? What am I looking at? Marines have four. Oh no, of course they have four. One, two, three, four. One in spawn. Uh, so looking pretty good res-wise for the Marines. Also pretty good res-wise for the aliens. They've got three extractors up. And now we have another Marine extractor going down. And that should be uh, good for the Marines if they can hold it. But that's going to be really tough because this is right outside alien spawn. So not a lot of uh, spreading out on the map for both players. Most of the fighting has been going on down here. We have phase tech starting by the Marines. That's going to help them really hold on to the rest of this map, but they might not need holding on at this point. They may need to spend their resources on stuff like shotguns or something to really fight these skulks, because that's what's been doing. Man, just a brutal game so far. Look at the kill counts. 3, 4, 4, 2 kills for the aliens. 5, 4, 5, 2 for the Marines. It's just been non-stop fighting over here. I haven't even been moving the camera very much. Maybe I should go down to like first person or something and be like, what's up? What's going on down here? Not much. Alright, back up to uh, the top. So, um, oops, Skulk's trying to go for a little flank here. Are they going to make it? Uh, they go in sort of piecemeal and get picked apart by the Marines. One down, two down, three down with zero kills on the Marines. Fantastic job by the Actioneers here. They are a new team to the ENSL. They did not play Natural Selection 1 at all, at least professionally, but uh, they have a lot of hours combined, and Natural Selection 2 is what I learned talking to them before the match started. Meanwhile, um, Han Boulay's team, they are veterans of Natural Selection 1, and they did play in the ENSL, and they've taken out the power in this room, and now they're working on the extractor, so that's going to hurt the Marines a bit, but they still have four extractors. Uh, Alien's not doing too bad either with three extractors. It's just going to be a question of um, who makes the right tech choices and turns their tech into what it takes to push through and uh, take the enemies out. Uh, the aliens are probably going to have a pretty easy time of expanding on the map, and even the marines too. Yeah, aliens claim atrium at about this time, because that makes sense. And uh, marines should be able to push over here for their second tech point if they end up needing it for jetpacks or exosuits. And nice job by uh, Noisby. He's a mercenary. He's from NS2 France, but uh, Han was down 
one player, so he's here. And nice job by the Marines coming up and saving this extractor. This is going to be a tough extractor for them to hold on to this game, because it's just right outside the corner of the alien base. And now we have shotgun research started and armor one going for the Marines, so this should really give them some staying power against these aliens. Meanwhile, <laughs> alien commander assisting up this room is completely covered in infestation. They haven't put the extractor down yet, but that doesn't matter. The power is gone, so it's not going to be running. And Marines coming in. Let's see what they're going to go for. Uh, take out a skulk right off the bat. What's he shooting at? What did he kill? He killed an egg. Okay, they're killing eggs, which makes sense. That's one of the first things you hit when you're attacking the hive. And now they're actually uh, getting some damage in on the hives. Just with LMGs and weapons one, it's going to take a long, long time for two Marines to take this down on their own. Do we have any reinforcements coming? Yes, we have right behind coming. He is right behind them, but... Uh, Clam taken out. Chaser still there, though, along with right behind. Aliens are going to be in big trouble. They don't have a lot of eggs here to spawn from. I count one egg here and one... That's not an egg. That's a resource. That's an upgrade thing. And an egg here. Aliens might be in big trouble if their hive starts taking some damage. Now that we have shotguns in here, uh, these skulks are probably going to get cleaned up even easier. So aliens just have to hope that Atrium gets grown and that they can uh, come back with their two hives. Atrium is at 48% right now grown. Um, so... Looks like the Marines know that, though, and they're heading that way. We have Clam and Vals going in. What are they going to do? They're going to reestablish the power at least, and then maybe come in and hit Atrium, and then the aliens are going to be in big trouble. They've dropped two crags to heal this hive, and so that should keep it pretty safe for a while. Marines are going to have trouble taking out the crag, because each crag is going to heal the other crag. And it uh, looks like we do have a critical mass of Skulks right here. Uh, Nailbreed takes down Magic Troll. Uh, Noisebe taken down by Nailbreed. Also, nice shooting by Nailbreed with that shotgun of his. And two shotguns versus one skulk, but the skulk is riding close, and the marines are at low health. Marines take it out. Nice shooting by Nailbry again. And uh, Nailbry might be out of ammo, or at least reloading. Nailbry almost down, and both of them taken down. Zill and Magic Troll finally cleaning up this hive, but this is just looking not so fantastic for aliens. Um, oh, they got a couple cysts. Interesting. Uh, Commander just threw these down. This one... Um, doesn't look very mature, and this one's not even grown yet. And we have another whip going up. Marines make the right choice, I think. Just run right past the whip and start wailing on the hive. It's not grown, so the aliens are going to have to run here if they want to save it. Are they going to get it across the map in time to save their hive? We have a gorge. No, that's not a gorge. That was a skulk. It looked, it looked like a gorge running on the way. We have two skulks coming in. Clam and Valsk, they're axing down the hive, probably saving their ammo for when the skulks show up. The skulks show up, so that does alleviate the pressure on the hive, taking down one marine. Clam firing with his shotgun. Is he going to take any skulks down? No. Attack cleaned up. Very important win by the aliens right there, and a third Skulk shows up. He's like, hey guys, I'm here to help, Luciol. And then Magic Troll's like, oh, I'll just chew on the power. But now we have three whips uh, in this hallway, and that's going to be a little tough for the Marines to run through, because once they enter here, the whips are just going to go to town, then they're going to have to run all the way here getting whipped. And we have a crag dropped, also healing this hive. And Atrium Hive has grown. It's at 43% but grown, but uh, the Marines have just claimed their second tech point here at uh, Datacore. So... Uh, very wonderful, interesting game so far. Four extractors for the Marines, three for the aliens. They've been holding pretty much steady on that. Marines have really been making do with their uh, upgrades. They've got shotgun, or they've got shotguns. They've got um, level two weapons on the way. They've got welders on the way. They've got their advanced armory to buy. Uh, stuff from, and uh, the aliens, meanwhile, have just started researching Leap. That's going to give these skulks a lot of power. Aliens a little bit resource-starved. Three extractors is not bad for aliens. Uh, one fewer extractors for aliens versus marines is about the norm, usually for competitive games, but uh, just aliens have um, not gotten a lot out of it. So they do have carapace, though, so that's been giving them some staying power. So just an action-packed game so far. Aliens poking at this... Um, place, but probably shouldn't go in one by one. Noise B and uh, Magic Troll realize this, and they're probably going to be a bit more sneaky. We have a fight down here. Nailbry just awesome with his aiming, takes out Taglu. We have Noise B walking very quietly up on these Marines, but he might be in big trouble if uh, they spot him, but he's walking in the vent down here, and he's being nice and quiet, so the Marines probably don't know he's there. Let's see what's going on. That's not the person. That's the person I want. Marines are building this, and Noisby knows, and he's in here. He's... What's going on? It's frozen. No. So, sorry, everybody. My game crashed, and now we're back uh, into the fray right there, and I don't know what I missed, but, man, that's a still fantastic fighting by Nail... Uh, Bunny, or Nail B, or Nail By is his name. So what does it look like? Uh, what did I miss in the about one minute I was gone? Uh, pretty much nothing. Aliens Marines still fighting. Um, let's see if I can set up these names. No, we have Jetpack Research started uh, by the Marines, and we have a shift. They've decided to upgrade this to a shift. 
Hive, and they have Celerity, so they're going to try and make their Skulks extremely powerful, and they have Blink on their Fades. So uh, do we have a Fade yet by the aliens? No, but Luciol is gestating for an unusually long period of time, so I'm thinking Luciol is potentially going to be a Fade, and we have an Adrenaline Spur completed, so this Adrenaline upgrade, very important for Fades, gives them a lot more energy for the um, Blinking around. And we also have spores started, so aliens really busting out with their resources. They're upgrading all sorts of shit now that they have their second hive. And man, look at this fight. It's brutal. The skull's coming in just in time with celerity, trying to clean up these marines. Oh, here we have the fade. Lucio getting caught on the wall, but he's running away. Good blinking away. Lucio did not kill very many people. The aliens did not kill any many people. He might be trapped here. He, uh, if the marines know to hunt him down, he's going to be in trouble. But it looks like he's going to be safe hanging out in this little corner sneaking up very slowly he's gonna blink in maybe try and kill some people then run out he's got to be very careful so many marines oh man only takes one person down lucio unfortunate fading by lucio these shotguns with level two weapons were just too much for him and now we're gonna have jetpacks up by um act the actioneers and they might be able to take this game with their tech advantage the aliens coming in uh well no it's too early to call it because the aliens do have uh higher life form evolutions available they've got their fade uh, blink and their lurk spores are going to be ready so they just need to accumulate enough personal resources to evolve into these things and we look at Taglu has 50 resources Magic Troll has 53 and Zill has 62 so the aliens are going to be ready for these marines when they come in with their jetpacks uh, marines do all though have enough for jetpacks and shotguns though so if uh, aliens can bite down this resource tower that's going to be helpful for them so we have the um, marines down to three extractors alien biting this one uh, marines down to two extractors and this one's not even running so marines almost oh that doesn't count in the bottom so marines down to two functioning extractors aliens at three so looking pretty good for the aliens um, total resources collected about a hundred more for the marines and uh, we have an armory up here so that's going to make it pretty easy for the marines to keep assaulting this hive they'll be able to uh, refill their health and their ammo there aliens have been continually chewing on this observatory that's a good tactic um, if they kill the observatory the marines can't distress beacon to get back to their base so uh, it's much easier to take them out but we do have a phase gate and a um, observatory set up here so if the marines want they can always distress beacon back to this base with this observatory then phase through this phase gate to get back to their other base so marines should be pretty safe from any base rushes that the aliens try to attempt um, Han just desperately trying to hold on to their two hives and then uh, get some higher life forms and really push back against these marines because leaping skulks even with uh, carapace and celerity are not going to hold against jetpacks and shotguns that these marines are going to have on the table and level two weapons level two armor uh, the marines are going to really be able to push in and do some damage so um Ooh, brilliant fighting right here. Magic Troll taking out one of the Marines. Nailbride taken down. We know he's a good shot, but uh, maybe the other Marines are good shots too. We have a Nano Shield on Clam that's going to protect him from Taglu's advances. Leap is helpful against fighting jetpacks, but is not enough when there's three of them with shotguns, or at least two with shotguns, one with a rifle, and um, you're just a skulk. So I think I said LMG a couple times when I meant rifle. LMG is from Natural Selection 1, the light machine gun. That's the one you spawned with. In this you just spawn with rifles. So here come the marines. They just disappeared. They got beaconed. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> they got beaconed back because there was a lurk in their base. Um, Noisby being all lurky. And oh, we have a, a skulk in here chewing on the... What is that? That's the protolab. Skulk in here chewing on the protolab trying to um, get rid of the marine... Uh, jetpacks, but uh, looks like that's not going to happen. These whips are not going to be very helpful against jetpackers. They can just fly past. And now they're going to unload on the hive. Um, it is being healed by this crag, so it's not going to go down super fast. Luciol also chewing on these people. That's going to help. Grenade launcher research started, so this might be bad for the aliens, although they could uproot these whips and move them to protect the hive, and the whip will uh, fling back grenades. It will attack bat the grenades out of the air. So we have an attack on this hive. They're taking out the crag and that's looking bad. Meanwhile, Magic Troll down here is taking out the power, so that's interesting. But let's look at this hive fight. Uh, we have a lurk coming in. Is Noisby going to be able to do it? Too many shotguns. Too many shotguns for Noisby. Oh, the nice lurk on his oh, own okay. can't really take on shotgun jetpackers if they can aim. And we have seen that the actioneers can aim. They are bringing it in force. And the aliens really trying to defend this hive. They claim Crossroads, though. Crossroads has not been a big uh, focus of contention on this map. Everyone ju has just been walking around the sides of the map the entire time, and Crossroads straight in the middle of the map. Aliens claiming a hive there. This might catch the Marines by surprise. 
and uh, or at very least give them too much to deal with because uh, that has been something the Marines have been struggling a bit with. We have Taglo in here chewing on the, the chair. Holy crap, the Marines clean or the aliens cleaned up this base. I did not even oh, notice. Probably while the Marines were busy attacking the hive, the aliens came in. Maybe Taglo on his own came in and chewed all the shit down. And now the Marines almost losing their command station. And that's a very good job by the aliens. There's no phase gate here, no observatory here, no extractor here. Marines down to two extractors, aliens up to five. So this is looking pretty good if the aliens can come back, maybe get some higher life forms in. Good job by these couple of skulks making themselves jerks, chewing on this thing. Maybe they'll take down the armory next or the power or something. So Marines down to two extractors. I thought they already had two. Maybe they just built one. Marines, yeah, down to two extractors, aliens up to five. This is looking better and better for the aliens after cleaning up that, uh, this base here and defending that attack on the hive. Fantastic job. That was just skulks and lurks defending that hive, so gotta hand it to Han. They know their stuff, and they're just getting in the every last bite uh, on this and also checking the phase gate. These marines have so much to deal with. We'll have to see if they can keep up the pressure on the aliens when the aliens are keeping up the pressure on the marines. Oh, man, all the good shooting in the world from the Marines, is that going to be enough? This is, I'm on the edge of my seat, this is a fantastic game. And, um, oh, they need to weld this up. They do have welders, so, yeah, it looks like Clam doing the job welding that thing. It's going to take a while, because it's got a lot of health, but that's good, because once you weld it up, it'll be uh, good to go. Nailbry taking out another guy. Nailbry is, what's his kill death? 12 and 9, and actually Warp Chaser is 22 and 15, so Warp Chaser is the, um, unheralded like uh, workhorse of the match. Nailbreak taking down that skulk with his pistol, and he's like, I'm out of here <laughs> with his jetpack, but he's not able to make it work for him. This is a small sort of uh, hallway right here, and there's not very much room to jetpack, and that means Zill was able to take it down. And then Zill's like, I'm out of here too, but no, it's harder for a skulk to retreat when three it. Uh, Marines are shooting at you. So uh, just jetpacks versus skulks is very hard for the aliens, even with leaps. So we've really got to give them credit for hanging on so long, basically with just lower life forms. Uh, look at their team resources. 46 for uh, Noise B, 82 for Han, uh, 74 for Taglu, 77 for Magic Troll. And they have, they can all go Onos, basically, <laughs> whenever they want. So, um... I'm excited to see what the aliens are going to do with their stuff. They've claimed crossroads. They've got it all grown up. Marines basically have no idea. We have a shit ton of drifters here. I don't know why. Those should be spread out on the map to a uh, scout. Probably the alien commander is going to do that when he has some free time. Um, but yeah, this is looking better and better for the aliens. The Marines managed to get up to sh jetpacks and shotguns, and then for some reason they weren't able to be quite as amazing with those as they had been with their rifles and their shotguns before they had jetpacks. The Marines were just doing so good in their fights against the aliens, managed to even get into the hive. Aliens were looking really bad. They were down a lot of eggs. A uh, Marines got up to the top hive, but the aliens are just coming back. We have a skulk, le or sorry, a fade leading the charge. Four skulls coming into Marine start along with the fade. This is chaos. Absolute chaos. What is going going on. That's not the right person to watch. This is ridiculous. So much fighting going on. Most of the skulks being cleaned up. One left so far, and uh, it's just everyone's jetpacking around. Uh, he's not going to be able to do anything. So that was a failed assault. Uh, meanwhile, this marine jetpacking through here who is being chased by <laughs> all of the drifters um, clearly now knows that Crossroads Hive is here. And now that the marines know that Crossroads Hive is here, they might be in trouble. They do have exosuit research started. Um, that might not be enough for them to uh, save themselves. But Crossroads Hive down to 90%. I'm not sure what is going on with that. I guess the Marine in there was shooting it for a bit. Uh, but more fighting here. Skulks in this narrow corridor may be going to be able to clean up the jetpackers, but um, unlikely. Great shooting by right behind a nail bright right there. And <laughs> uh, look at all these drifters. That's just really funny to me. I believe they are now not only invisible, but also walk through a bull. So Marines can just walk right through them without revealing them, uh, which was not before the case. And so we have Zill as a fade. We have Magic Troll as a lurk. We have Noise Bee as a lurk. And uh, we have Lucille, not as anything, as a skulk. So we have two lurks and a fade, and we have silence completed, and we have exosuits completed, we have biobomb researching, we have ono stomp researching, we have camouflage research. This is getting into the late game, folks, and this is getting exciting. I can't wait to see who pulls this out. If I had to bet, I would go for the aliens. We do have an exosuit here. The aliens see the exosuit probably, Taglid probably sees it starting to chew on the observatory. Marine's going to have to come back. Um, exosuit should have few problems with the skulk from far away, but running in is very dangerous against the skulks. It can be difficult as an exosuit to take those skulks down um, from around your ankles.
but um, meanwhile some pressure from Valsk and Clam on this Crossroads Hive. Not much to defend it. We have a whip, but it's not doing jack shit. And Nailbride trying to jet around with Zill. This is a duel of the fates. Who is going to win? Once he runs out of ammo in his gun, Zill is just going to go in, and he's got the health to tank any shots that that's taking. Meanwhile, this pressure on the Hive maybe going to be cleared up by the massive amount of drifters. Um, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, the marines are just kiting the drifters and killing them off in droves. This is like, yeah, this is this is maybe the funniest thing I've ever seen in a competitive match. Natural selection too. <laughs> oh, look at the drifters. They're just chasing Valsk. Are they gonna chew him to death? They have a tiny little attack, but no. Lucio comes in and steals it, and the drifters are like, oh, we were doing something. Uh, but Clam avenges his friend and then gets out of there because one marine against 80 drifters is not going to happen. Oh, is he going to have enough jetpack energy to get away from this fade? Or is he going to fight it out? No, he's trying to jet away. Dr blur the fade back to the exosuit. If the exosuit can get some damage in on the fade, does get enough damage in to force it. Clam tries to... Um, follow the fade, maybe kill it, but uh, the retreat has been forced by the exosuit, and when a fade is retreating, it's almost impossible to catch it unless it's out of energy, because they'll just blink away. And Clam, of course, healing up the exosuit, you can weld the exosuit back to full health, because all of the exosuit's health is armor. Um, I, I'm i sorry I haven't been following the lurks enough for us to know what they're doing, but there's just so much going on in this game. Uh, man, such a wonderful game. Players pressuring each other on all sides of the map. We have a lurkers and exosuit. Not a good fight for the lurk. The spores don't even do anything to the exosuit. The poison bite doesn't do anything, although the poison but does do something to Valsk. Valsk is poisoned by the Lurk, so we have two Lurks and a Fade going... No, a Lurk, a Skulk, and a Fade going to town on the Exosuit. Exosuit trying to fight it off. Lurk is going to try and take it down. No, Lurk eats it. Lurk bites it, but the Fade manages to finish off the Exosuit. Probably a good trade by... Um, the marines, I would think, oh no, they don't actually have that much personal resources, so probably a good trade by the aliens then. Um, they have a fair amount of personal resources just to evolve that lurk back. Yeah, Taglu and Magic Troll, 91 and 74. Taglu probably just going to relurk right here, so great job by the aliens uh, securing so many uh, resource points. Where is Noisby hiding? That's interesting, but uh, Noisby is screwed if he comes out. Uh, but you know who else is screwed? The Clam. If he gets out of here, I'm going to be very surprised. But uh, Valsk might actually save him. Wow. Uh, no, Clam goes down, and Valsk goes down for his troubles, too, taking down just a skulk. So, um, if Marines can maybe start killing these higher life forms, that would be helpful for them. I'm not sure what Noisby is trying to accomplish hiding down here. Probably going to bite the extractor down when someone's gone. So, I guess he's tying up the Marines. Man, Marines are researching everything. They got double mini suit exi gun, double exo suit and miniguns. They got uh, grenade launchers a while ago. We haven't really used those. They've got flamethrowers started, level 3 armor started. They got mines started. The only thing the Marines have yet to research is, um, uh, up, an upgraded robotics facility for their arc, and of course nobody ever gets that. So um, that oh no, it's the drifters! It's the drifters again! Ah, the attack of the drifters! Oh, and uh oh, this is bad. Marine support cleaned up by the fade, and um, right behind is getting mobbed to death by drifters, and more importantly by the fade in the mix. And the alien commander even uses enzyme to speed up the attack speed of the drifters and the fade. And that was really funny, and that's unfortunate. Marines lose another exosuit. Oh, and we have a flamethrower coming in on the hive, so the aliens going to be able to deal with that? I would say probably. The flamethrower not fantastic against aliens on its own. Um, it's actually fairly good against fades because it slows down the alien uh, energy. Oh no, not the drifters! No, don't kill them! They are innocent! I guess they're not actually innocent. They're not non-combatants. They have been fighting. And uh-oh, power going down. Aliens, nice job hitting this power. Uh, using the drifters, I guess, as a distraction. I'm not sure really why they're hanging out here. But yeah, take the power down. The marines are in big trouble turning on those flashlights. Can they see anything? No, they can't see anything. A fade in the dark is the most terrifying thing in Natural Selection 2. Aside from sometimes an Onos, uh, cloaked skulks can pretty be pretty terrifying. Sometimes lurks are terrifying when they're hiding on the ceiling. Uh, frankly, most things in Natural Selection 2 are scary. The gorge is not scary, though. Wow! Oh, man! Warp Chaser cleans up uh, Hanzil the Fade with his pistol. Fantastic job by Warp Chaser. Can you get the power back on your own? Valsk, uh, not going to help you. Valsk is going to kill the cyst. I'm not sure why Valsk is killing cysts, but um, if they can get the power back, this is going to be very good for the Marines, or at least not bad for the Marines. Valsk, are you going to kill? Oh no, Noisby comes in, chews Valsk to death. Nice job, Noisby killing the jetpacker uh, down there. Good pickup for the aliens. Meanwhile, Marines just walking into this hive, which is fairly undefended, so um, 
if Marines decide to put some pressure on this, it might be in trouble, especially if they ever get some Exos back. But Marines just hurting for resources. They're at three extractors. They've lost seven so far. Uh, they've they actually have collected fewer resources than the aliens total, 926 to 1043 for the aliens. So uh, Marines are really hurting the resource game, and this is going to show because we have an Onos uh, showing up. Although... Um, not really hurting them in terms of research. Oh, look, they're even researching an ARC Robotics factory. That's the last thing on their tech tree. That's hilarious. And now we have Umbra for the Lurks and the Onos, and we have Gorge. This is going to be a very difficult push for the Marines to deal with. This is one of every alien life form except the Fade. Oh, look, surprise, they have grenade launchers, which are usually not a fantastic anti-life form, but um, since there's just so many life forms here clumped up, they can do some good damage. We have spores, though, going down. This is going to be really annoying for the Marines because this is a narrow hallway. They're trying to chase down the Onos. Are they going to get the Onos? Onos is at almost no health. Gorge is at almost no health. Nailby is going with his shotgun. Chase the Onos. Onos is down. Nailby takes the Onos down with his level 1 or level 3 weapons. First rifle of the weapon you spawn with. Look at all these fucking drifters. Jesus. Goddamn crazy. Um, that's hilarious, though. The aliens have decided to claim this extractor, although that is not long for this world after losing this momentous fight. Uh, losing a Lurk and an Onos, I believe, and maybe even the Gorge. I think actually the Gorge survived Teglo, but it's okay. The aliens just re-Onos immediately, and now we have an Ark upgraded and a Mac. The Mac comes for free with the Robo Factory, but it's the attack of the AI! The Drifters versus the uh, Ark. It's the, oh man, the grenade launcher going to town on the Drifters. But is it going to be enough? Drifters do almost no damage to any of this. Um, Luciel, I don't know what is going on. Marines seem to be doing fine. The Ark is trying to run away, but the Marines can't take the Onos. This could be good Onos Bay if the Onos goes for it, but no Magic Troll is too smart for that. Just takes out the Mac, which appears to be sort of stuck. Um, okay, I was going to take a look at that in the first person, but uh, it went away. So, uh, uh oh, here come the Skulks to, uh, they're super fast, right behind, knocked down by the Ono Stomp. That is just the most annoying thing in the entire world, especially if you're a competitive player like this and you're a good shot with your rifle. Uh, getting knocked down is like, I can't shoot, but Magic Troll, for some reason, backing out, uh, scared of the Marines coming here. Magic Troll is being nice and cautious with that Ono. Look at the upgrades for these teams, almost full upgrades for both teams. Three hives to two command stations, five extractors for the aliens, three for the marines. What a wonderful game, folks. Is it ever going to end? We're 27 minutes in. Somebody's got to push. I think the aliens should try and end it, but actually that's very difficult. If you've ever played, even in a pub game, you know how hard it can be for aliens to end these things against marines. And the marines are not giving up at all. They're building a... Um, What's that called? An armory right here and a sentry battery. Are you serious? We have literally seen every single building in the game in this match. We have an observatory too, so this will tell the marines when aliens are coming. It'll highlight aliens on the map um, nearby. And we have the Gorge and Onos team just keeping the pressure up. A magic troll getting dangerously low health, so marines, level 3 weapons are nothing to be tussled with. Skulk being a jerk. Oh, look at this! We got cysts in the bay. We got shades in the marine base. Shades giving cloaking to the aliens in the marine base. We have whips being grown by the alien commander to put some pressure on this thing. So this is funny. In Natural Selection 2, both commanders do have offensive capabilities against the enemies that they can do just on their own while the players aren't doing anything. The alien commander can grow some whips and do some stuff. The marine commander can build some arcs and uh, send them off onto the map. The arcs will only attack um, buildings, though. So marines, I think, are going to be in deep doo-doo now when they lose this second base. They're just, they can't spare the manpower to fight over there. They're too busy holding this Onos at bay. And, um, wow, if an Onos gets a stomping on these four marines, that'd be bad. But look at this! We have sentry guns firing! This is the first time I've ever seen sentry guns in a uh, competitive match. This is hilarious. And the Onos is down! They chase Magic Troll all the way back. That's what jetpacks will get you. The Onos is down. Where are the sentry guns? My goodness, folks, take note of this. This may be the last time you ever see this in the ENSL for a long time to come. But, um, whew, what a match. And so it looks like the Marines are trying to push uh, with the... Uh, the momentum of taking down that Onos, trying to take out this hive, but it's going to be to no avail, probably. Between Zill's chewing and the whip's whipping, uh, the Marines have lost their second base over here, so I'm going to think this is going to look pretty good for the aliens. The Marines cannot buy their jetpacks now. They need two uh, command chairs for that, and I thought they needed two for the Exos, too. We'll have to see if they buy any Exos. Um, but... The aliens just have so many resources this game. They've been doing such a great job of securing extractors that um, the commander is able to spend whatever he wants on whatever he wants, and that's given him the ability to put whips and shifts and stuff and cysts all into the 
uh, marine base and just keep the pressure up. Meanwhile, the marines have not had quite enough to buy exos whenever they want, shotguns whenever they want, so um, grenade launchers whenever they want. So they uh, haven't really been able to take down any hives is really the big deal. They need to kill some hides in the game. And I'm not sure if that's because lack of resources or what, but the Marines haven't taken down any hides in the game. And that is potentially going to be their failing. And we have a Skulk. It's two Skulks in Marine Base, even wailing on the command chair and the IPs. So we have cysts in the base. This is looking bad for the Marines. So fantastic fight from the Actioneers. Fantastic fight from Han Boulay's team. But it looks like the aliens are going to be able to pull this one through unless uh, these two arcs set up and destroy the hive, in which case the game will keep going. <laughs> um, and look, we have uh, another arc, three arcs in the hive, and they don't even need marines to scout for them or the commander to scan for them because they're literally right next to the hive. Oh, look, it's a drifter. And they're cleaning out the eggs too, so this is unfortunate for the aliens. Uh, flight control down to 96%. So there's a bunch of crags healing it, you notice, but these crags are going to get hit by the splash damage from the arcs and go down. Um, meanwhile, Magic Troll having trouble pressuring this base because there's three center guns. He can just get behind him. Right here is safe. But uh, until then, man, they're lighting up. Oh, man, he is taken down half by Valsk, half by the center guns. That's ridiculous. And Crags are almost all dead. One left. And this is... Aliens might lose their first hive. Flight Control Hive is probably going to go down uh, unless they have something to kill this. A Gorge could biobomb it. Here comes Taglu belly sliding to the rescue. Taglu is belly sliding in to kill the Arcs, but if Taglu doesn't have any support, that's not even going to happen. And Clam looks like can maybe just weld the Arcs. Um, well, no, Hive is down, Flight Control down, and that's a Crag Hive too, but that doesn't matter because they still have their upgrades. And wow, uh, impressive job by the Marines. I did not think they would be able to do much here. <laughs> Gorge decides to biobomb the sentries, but the sentries take the Gorge down. Oh man! But Biobomb thankfully does damage over time, so that's the end of the sentries. This is hilarious! This is amazing! I love this. This is the best game ever. Um, what is going on here? <laughs> Look at this fight! This is fun. And he's finally dead. So aliens probably just gonna drop this hive again. They've collected 1,400 resources to the uh, marines, 1,100. So uh, aliens not at all hurting for resources. Actually, I said they were gonna drop the hive again, but there's three arcs here right now, so <laughs> there's no way they're gonna drop it. And as soon as this infestation clears up, I wouldn't be surprised to see the marines drop command chair, except they're too low on resources. So um, story of this game is just that marines need some serious resources. Data core claimed. Oh look, and they have a third hive here. So yeah. Um, not over for the marines, but looking pretty sweet for the aliens. Uh, even though their upgrades seem to be down. Did they, uh, did all, were all their upgrade buildings, like in here? Because that would be bad. Let's see if we can find some shifts or veils or anything, or spurs. I don't see them. I mean, it can tough, be tough. We need shifts, no, we need spurs, and we need, uh, shells, and we need veils are the three alien upgrade buildings and I don't think they have any around the map. They were all in here. So the aliens are down to zero upgrades now. They still have blink, biobomb, and leap. I th but that's um, not so great for them because they will be weaker, I think. If all their upgrade buildings were here, which it looks like, that's one of the things we still can't quite uh, tell through either spectating or being commanders. You can't see those upgrade buildings, but nice job keeping the pressure up on these marine resources. They'll be down to one extractor if this goes down. And um, so keep the pressure. Both teams, very good about pressure this entire game. Here comes the Onos, but he can't stomp because he doesn't have three hives, and he doesn't have a gorge, so he's got to run away. Lucio blinking in, but Lucio does not have a lot of health. Oh, Lucio killed. You can be shot while blinking. You can be killed while blinking. And Lucio knows this, and despite that, is killed. So Marines might even be coming back surprisingly don't even have phase tech though according to this thing did their observatory get killed yeah wow their observatory got killed in main base which means no beacon and no phase gates so that's really bad for them and Onos just again going to town on this if the marines can take this Onos down that would be good but I don't think they're going to be able to take the Onos down they're too spread out around the base trying to figure out what they want to do I are they attacking the cyst yeah, they're attacking the cyst, so the alien commander knows they're coming, but they do cut off the cyst chain very slightly over here. That'll um, take down this building on its own eventually. Um, here's the Onos, wailing on the arcs. Uh, this Onos is going to be fine, I think, unless Clam and Valsk have jetpacks, which they certainly don't. They can't buy jetpacks now, because they're down to one command station. They've been dying too much to still have them, and looks like it's the end for these arcs. 
uh, not going to be able to siege up the center hive. Uh, Marines are too busy holding off attacks on their main base. Magic Troll was in here trying to kill some stuff, and good job by Magic Troll. Uh, two Marines in here, though, they can't even see anything. It's all cloaked. They have these uh, shades, or veils. They're shades. They have these shades all around their base, and that's uh, making everything invisible. Of course, they know where the hive is, so if they wanted, they could just shoot it. But um, I was trying to draw an X over the hive to shoot. There we go. Shoot. But, um, hey, look, you have a jetpack. Where did, have you been alive the entire time? Has Nailbri... Nailbri is 30 and 14. It is potentially true that Nailbri has been alive ever since that second base died, which is the only way I can imagine him having a jetpack. So Nailbri does not die. Nailbri is invincible. Um, at half health right now, we'll have to see Commander drop him some health. So, uh, this Onos is never gonna die right now, because there's a Gorge following him around, healing him. Zill being a nice... Loyal, faithful belly slider. And, um, Valsk is so dead, but he manages to get a skulk for his troubles. <laughs> run, run, ring around the Onos. Run away, run away, run away. <laughs> oh man, Val just trying to, Valsk just trying to buy some time for his team until Warp Chaser and Clam show up, and he actually does it. He gets away. That's the funniest. Okay, twice now I've I think I've said this is the funniest thing I've seen. Oh man, the gorge does go down. Zill is killed. So actually, if the Marines had some more people here, they could maybe clean up Taglu. But uh, the clam gets a little too hasty. He's like, maybe we can kill the Onos. And he goes in, and the Onos is like, nope, I'm still an Onos. I can kill you. And Nailbri finally dies. He's 31 and 15. But uh, this attack on the alien hive was destroyed. So gotta give it to the Marines. They are tenacious. They are never giving up. But... Um, this is looking harder and harder for them. They're down to one extractor. They have lost ten extractors. The aliens still have five extractors. The aliens just rolling in the dough. And um, here's the Onos again. Like trying to stomp some people, but um, stomp is a little hard to line up because it charges up. You go and they go poof, and then it stomps out. So uh, you can't just go poof to stomp right off the bat. I just hit the screenshot button. That was a mistake. Um, and so that was my steam making noise. Not yours, so don't bother checking if you heard that noise. What's going on? What's going on? Killing an alien instructor? Good. Fighting Onos? Being killed? Good. Trying to kill the gorge? No, the gorge! Belly slide away! Oh, you're dead. Valsk killing it with his pistol. <laughs> and he's just shooting into the blindness trying to get the extractor. These uh, veils do not have a lot of health. Pretty easy to kill them. And uh, I guess he's trying to kill the veil, too. I'm not... or the shade. God, I can never remember these names for all these things. Right behind asking for a med pack from the commander. Is he gonna get one? Is he gonna get... whoop, that's Warp Chaser. Are you gonna get a med pack? This is the big question of this match. Will right behind get a med pack? I don't know. Meanwhile, killing another alien extractor. Killing the cysts. Okay, fine. Kill the cyst and let the extractor die on its own. That's a cruel way to go. Whoa, uh -oh, two onuses. Do we have a gorge? No, we don't have any gorge, and actually Magic Troll is... I'm not sure why I'm clicking on Magic Troll, but here's Magic Troll. Ooh, that was a close fight. Uh, so two Onos is pretty big deal, but oh, finally Zill is a Gorge. So Zill looks to be the Team Gorge, the Team Belly Slider. And uh, we also have a Lurk somewhere around here, Lucy all flying around, but let's check out the Onoses. Uh, they need to stick a bit closer to the Gorge, but of course you don't want the Gorge to get killed. This is a great spot for the Marines to hide from the Onoses. They get a big line of fire down this corridor, then they have a nice wide open retreat path right here with a bit of blocking stuff right here, so the Onoses guaranteed to be funneled through either here or here, so not a bad place to fight them, but the Onos can charge in, and all of a sudden they're on you like lightning. This walkway is a great place to hide from Onoses, but uh, not if the Onos is up there and they're dead. Except Clam's still alive somehow. Clam killed by Heal Spray, the ultimate indignity, and Lucille keeping the pressure up on the Marine base. The Marines have held out admirably, I must say. They have lost 11 extractors this match. That is a lot. And Lucille dropping some Umbra to block his escape. The Umbra providing protection from 50% of the bullets fired by the enemy. So it basically doubles your health. Ooh, Onos gang bang on Valsk. <laughs> they knock him down and they're like, eh, that's good. That's enough for now. We're done with you. We'll go kill Warp Chaser. And Valsk is doing it again. Jesus. V v Valsk just loves this little run around the Onos trick. And they're going to get, actually, Noisby. Noisby is down. There's no gorge here. Taglu's going to go down, too, if he doesn't get away. He's running, 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 running. Taglu is down. Two Onos is down by this marine team. Oh, boy, you cannot fault them for persistence and power. Um, 
And here's a lurk dropping some spores. You are screwed. Uh, you are caught between marines and a hard place. Yeah, you're down. Power's down in here, but uh, that doesn't matter because they have nice glowing cysts to light their way, like Christmas lights. Cysts are like Christmas lights that the alien commander drops, but um, also they explode when marines are by, if the commander does that. Not a lot of people know that they can explode cysts by the alien. The alien commander can detonate cysts. They, it actually doesn't kill them. It just like sort of pops them and sends some goo out. And nearby marines, I think, just get their vision obscured. Maybe some other stuff. If you watch my alien commander tutorial video, I talk about that, but I actually don't know what it does. It might just be vision obscuring. So we have a ton of whips here with Gorge and Skulk back up and a crag and a veil or a shade or whatever the hell cloaks the things and whoa my alien xenocide from Lucio kills a couple marines and brings the other two down to almost no health Lucio using xenocide I don't think I've ever seen xenocide in a pro match everything is on the table in this fight it is crazy it's cray cray we got a phase gate in this weird little circular panel thing like something from Evangelion and we have a power up and they're flaming flight control. Marines have saved the resources to drop flight control. Taglo being a jerk bio bombing from the vent. This is perhaps one of the most annoying things in natural selection. Um, in addition to being knocked down by the Elnos, having a gorge bio bombing you from a vent. Oh no, they're going to lose their armory. They're going to lose their observatory. They're going to lose their IP. They actually have a sentry turret facing weird directions. Sentry, that's so funny. Um... Looks like a whip killed somebody over here, and between the umbras and the crags and the whips, and this is just no go. <laughs> it's a do not go here, marines. You are not invited. <laughs> look at those whips. Those just look so funny. I love those. Whips are a great addition to natural selection. I don't care what anybody says about static defenses. I'm the. I I hate static defenses too. I don't like sentries or things or anything. But the whips just look so funny. I can't hate them. Um. You don't need to put the Umbra here, you need to put the Umbra here. The Umbra is something you want to fire at friendlies. So if you put it here, if you're like planning to go there, that's fine. But the Umbra is, I'm like 90% sure it's an effect that applies to the alien. So I don't think it's very helpful to get it uh, over here. I Our think you want it on yourself. Um, aliens still putting up the fight. Here they do have um, this cloaky thing, which is nice. I'm not sure why you need that there though. Um, it would be nice for the aliens to have a shift there, or a crag there. The crag would help them heal up, and the shift would give them uh, eggs that they could spawn from uh, to attack the marine base. And I guess the cloak is just to keep the uh, whips safe. And the whips kill this guy, so this is what happens when the aliens are not starved for resources. The commander just Our starts dropping whips everywhere, and the marines just start getting killed. And Taglu is still in this vent, still biobombing the marines and oh man that is just so annoying their armory is down their observatory is down they have to rebuild all this stuff it takes a while to upgrade an advanced armory the clam goes in he's like i'll take care of this and it turns out there's skulks there too and then right behind goes in there i'll take care of this i'm actually going to shoot instead of just like run in and try and hug the gorge to death right behind has the right idea and the uh, commander borg oh, even nice gets out of the okay. chair and that finishes off taglu i think borg actually got the kill did he well, he's 9-4, and four, so I guess he's gotten out of the chair a fair amount this game. I haven't even been paying attention. Uh, Han 6-1 Nun is also 5-3, and three, so commanders have been getting their fight on. That's how you know it's a crazy game. And what do we have here? Cysts or whips or something are growing? We have a crag and uh, whatever it is. Oh, it's two whips and a crag. And I think this was another whip. Um, these things are fairly easy to take down because before alien buildings mature, they don't have a ton of health. Taglo comes in, no, I will save my babies, and uh, Noisby comes in, I will also save your babies, and then Lucio comes in, everybody save the babies, and it looks like they're going to save the babies, I don't know how the marines are going to hold out for another 45 minutes, because <laughs> it's been 45 minutes so far, the aliens have not been able uh, to finish this, but um, still looking pretty sweet for the aliens, they have basically everything upgraded. The only thing they're lacking is these two buttons, which both look like command consoles, so I'm guessing those don't exist. Those are just bugs on the, um, on the observer um, thing. So Commander's got 58 team resources right now for the aliens. He doesn't even know what to spend it on. He could drop like an Onos egg or something uh, for his buddies, but um, no need for that. Oh, Luciel seems to be stuck. Where's, well, Luciel is dead, so we can't click on Luciel to find out where he's stuck. But, um, oh well. Go aliens. Kill the marines. I think I'm calling this one for the aliens. Uh, the marines are going to have to pull some crazy stuff to get back, and, um, uh, 
Now it's just a question of how long they hold on out for. So this is the first of four mm, four games that each will play. One match in the... Yeah, let's talk about the ENSL. So this is the first ENSL game I have cast, the first official pro ENSL match I've casted. Um, so this is the uh, first season of the NSL, the Natural Selection League. It is run by ENSL, the European Natural Selection League, but it's not just Europeans playing. These two teams are European, um, Denmark and France, I think. But um, the the team, there's also American teams and Australian teams in on this. So I will be casting all sorts of games from all sorts of places. This is Division 5, Group B. Uh, I think there's five or six European divisions, one or two American divisions, one Australian and like miscellaneous <laughs> division. I think we have a Korean team, maybe. Um, Nice fade cleanup. Zill doing some work. Yeah, attack. Zill. Um, so, yeah, this is season one, round one. Uh, you can earn up to four points per uh, match because each, ma each match is two maps, and on each map you play marines and aliens. So, in this one, Han Bule's team is playing aliens, and then actioneers are playing marines, then they're going to swap, and then they're going to go to trim. And uh, we're going to do the same thing. So hopefully those casts will be up on my YouTube channel too, unless something went wrong. Um, oh man, whips fighting into the vent. This is really funny. And the crag is trying to heal it, but it's not doing very much at all. And that whip goes down. And that whip's going to go down too. Nice job from right behind getting a clutch health drop from the commander. Uh, it looked like maybe another one but fell through the floor or something. Dropping stuff in vents is always tough. Oh man, Zill is on fire. This is going to be unfortunate because he's not going to have um, his energy recharge. And Zill is killed. Oh man, that was painful. Just floating through the air. Blissfully through the Umbra. Falls to his death. Yeah, uh, that's tough. Fades out of all the aliens are probably the least happy to be set on fire because their escape mechanism is to blink away. And blink requires adrenaline or energy and ad uh, energy recharge is cut down maybe to half when um when you have when you're set on fire so we have the onuses in the base now and valsk can jetpack away so he's safe but uh the the infant infantry portal cannot jetpack so that's not safe uh right behind i'm not sure how you're still alive but uh the armory is certainly helping onuses decide to jet they needed a gorge in there taglo is a gorge oh wow are these guys dead no they're cloaked <laughs> um onuses almost die uh, but it looks like they get away, and the crag is not actually here to heal them. Man, Lucio might go down. No, don't die. And we have a third Onos. Okay, this is the alien sort of trying to break it. Lucio may be going to go down. Lucio realizes he has to charge in, maybe get out of here. We have an Onos uh, traffic jam, but they clear that up. And uh, now, since we have three Onoses, this might be the game ender. Unless Noisby gets too excited and goes in and gets himself killed. So we need the gorge up here. Where's the... Oh, Magic Troll is dying. Magic Troll on fire. Command Lurks also don't attack. like being on fire. Uh, Lucio healing up at the hive. Taking forever. Taglu on the wrong side of the map to heal these people. Noisby also running back. They have to run back to their hives to heal up. This is why gorges are so crucial. Taglu hiding out in this little vent. Cute, pudgy little gorge. Gorges are so crucial. You see, even three Onoses could not take on the uh, Marines. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tagloo discovered by Clam. It's a barbecue! We're gonna have gorge ribs for dinner! And that's really uh, unfortunate for the gorge. Um, so, they're gonna need another gorge if they want these three Onuses. Uh oh! <laughs> Actually, get some damage in on the Marine in the vent. So, the Onus in the latest patch, the Onus gore range was reduced by half a meter. And that means right behind is able to stand right here and basically be safe from the Onuses. Um, that was part of a nerf to the Onuses, they were a little too powerful. Another nerf was that you can no longer drop an Onos egg for your uh, marines as an alien commander until you have three hives. But obviously these aliens have three hives. So uh, yeah, Luziel is pretty much screwed. He's being roasted and toasted, and he is burnt the mosted, and he is down. Now we're down to two Onuses. This is sort of a feudal attack. You just need to wait for your gorge, and then the gorge can heal you, and the gorge can bile bomb. And really, it's the bio bomb that does the real work. Because while the marines are busy fighting the onuses, all their buildings just get killed, and all their max just get killed. And the max are what are keeping the buildings alive. So here we have Taglu. The gorge is finally here, but um, he's actually going to go around the side, sneaky, 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 bio bomb the marine, marine base. They're, they might be able to fight back because now that they've got their second command oh, nice. station over on the left, they can get their jetpacks, and so they might be able to fight back with their jetpacks if they decide to go into the vent and take them down. Nail Bry thinking about it. And there goes the power over here, as if it mattered. Um, we got crags. How many crags is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I'm just gonna say the alien commander has too many resources on his hand, and we have the Onos gangbang going up, although Luciel died to something. I don't know who was Luciel and Onos, or was Luciel still dead? I don't know. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Taglu being chased. Uh, Gorge goes in the wrong direction to run away. Uh, he's gonna be cut off from his team, trying to spit Valsk down. This is Valiant. Uh, Valiant last stand by Taglu. If he can kill Valsk, that would be pretty amazing, but no, Taglu is down. Onoses are left without Gorge support. Uh, Marine base is left unbiobombed. We have one Onos down, Zilla's down. Magic Troll is on fire. Noise bees on fire. We're in a 50 minute game, folks. This is nuts. This is the first game and it's 50 minutes. A second Onos down. The Marines not giving up. They are never giving up. This is the most resilient Marine team in a long, long time. And we have cysts into their base. So again, the alien commander has enough resources. He can just cyst into the base, drop some whips. The whips will start killing the command chair and the um, phase gate, and then it's going to look bad for the marines. But we do have one sentry gun, which will maybe shoot at the wisps. One lone little sentry. Uh, marines actually pushing in, doing some good work with their grenade launchers. Who's got a grenade launcher? Valsk has a grenade launcher. And... Let's just take a minute. Whoa, they, he's shooting himself with grenades. Oh, he's not shooting himself. The whip is batting back the grenades. Hero whip, MVP whip, kills Valsk, gets himself killed by his own grenade because the wisp batted it back. That is so amazing. Meanwhile, Taglu comes in to help Biobomb with this thing, so this base is going to go down. Then the Marines aren't going to have uh, jetpacks, and right behind is on the ground. Uh, the Onus is <laughs> leaving him alone or something, giving him some reprieve. That's amazing. What are these Onuses doing? They're just charging around, maybe killing some people. Flight control destroyed. That's the end of the Marine um, level 2 tech. The commander out of the game, um, out of the command chair. Actually, and this might be it for the Marines. Uh, actually, no, they're going to kill these two Onuses. That's what's going to happen. Um, unless the Onuses can kill all of these Marines or get out of here alive. Nope, they're both dead almost simultaneously. Um, but... Uh, what, we have another Onos? Yeah, don't kill the Extractor. L does not matter. Get into the Marine base and kill them now. They are at their weakest right now. Commander actually got out of the chair uh, to fight, and that's how you know things are getting dire for the Marines. Taking down this Extractor too. This will be the 14th Extractor killed for the Marines this game. Uh, they're not going to be able to defend it against two Onuses, probably. Uh, although they still have some jetpacks, it looks like. Valsk, at least, has his jetpack. Um... Grenade launchers, eh, doing some good damage against the aliens. If you're really good with a grenade launcher, it can be a good anti-alien tool. Otherwise, you're best off using it for fighting. How did he kill? And looks like Act calls GG. So, good game, everybody. Uh, let's go on to the next. This has been long, long, long.